Uh, Andrew, do you can you show Bill my Instagram story with the guy uh, with the bear? The guy, the, yeah. So just check this out. My Instagram story, there's a guy, somebody, a fan sent this. There's a guy, and I don't know who's filming it, but there's a guy on the top of a tree, and the grizzly bear is just going like this, and he's calm. So I'm thinking the guy videoing either has a fucking gun. Just if you if you could show this one, dude. But uh, apparently the anything better fans love when me and you talk animals. Like they, they get. But yeah, look at this, Bill. Show Bill this. See the guy? Jesus fucking Christ! That thing is trying to fuck. That's a grizzly bear, right? Yeah, grizzly bear is trying to knock him off of that. And here's the scary part. If that guy gets down and starts running, that thing is like a fucking defensive back. That thing will run like a cornerback. <laughs> what do you mean if he starts running? The thing's already made the decision he's going to eat him. No, no, no. Wow. I'm saying if, if the guy try, how scary is that, dude? I, but I don't get like the, this guy's getting all the way inside with the camera. I, was, what, I don't understand what's going on here. This seems a little set up to me. Well, no, what I think is happening is I think there's somebody clearly with a gun there. <laughs> like, so unless the bear it, was, a, was, is there any audio? I, I well, don't well, listen. I can tell you this, Paul, he's got to blow that thing's brains out right then. If that guy falls out of the tree, does he hit the wrong person? Yeah. It's weird this, to this me. Is my, this is my thing, Paul. If you end up like that in life, it's it's you deserve whatever the fuck happens to you. How the fuck do you run into that and end up on that thing? How do you get on that tree branch? Unless it is a setup. I mean, that bear doesn't look out. like it's trying. That looks like wrestling to me. He's not trying. Unless the, unless that bear is like a circus bear and they're playing around and shit. They cut out the original audio. It's uh, replaced with an Eminem song. <laughs> Uh, this looks like a job for me. <laughs> uh, that's, like, dude, that's, but that is horrifying, dude. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. But swimming in the ocean where the grizzly bears are under the water. <laughs> it's all scary. It's all, it's all scary. Did you see jackass? The last jackass? The last no. jack. The last jackass, one of the things was they put that guy, Dave England, in a chair and uh, they put honey all around him and threw a salmon on him. And then they let a they they let out a grizzly bear and they put all the salmon and honey by his balls. And the grizzly bear like came out calm and just started like licking at his balls. And dude, the terror, he's going, dude, how much longer? How much longer? <laughs> and Johnny fucking Knoxville and they were fucking dying. And then they finally did. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking banana. Like, do you ever see the one where they 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 like dressed up like a zebra? That was on the Wild Boys, and they put like they put like <laughs> headgear from boxing around their neck and wore a football helmet. No, and they ran out there, and these two lionesses just ran up. One ripped the head off. Like the the lions were fortunately confused. Them. I was, I asked Steve O about it one time. I go, do you have people there with like fucking pellet guns or no, not pellet guns? One of the ones that that, that shoot tranquilizer like guns. Tranquilizer gun, yeah. <clears throat> it's funny. I asked him and he answered, and I can't remember the answer. No, uh, they have to. They have to have. You can't have a, you, dude. You can't have a fucking grizzly bear in a prank in a fucking studio and not be able to put the thing to sleep instantly. <laughs> you can't. You know, like, dude, the waivers that those guys have to sign on Jackass, dude. He Johnny Knoxville uh, got taken away in a hospital. Oh, did Bill? Do we lose Bill? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm here. All right. My John, battery's getting low. Johnny Knoxville had a, had the bull hit him and the bulls, the bull swung him around. It's on the trailer of the last jackass, the bull, he was going like this, like he was trying and the bull took out his legs. He did a complete flip. He had a punctured lung. He, he fucking dude, he was fucking. And then he's like giving the thumbs up and they're all cheering. They're like, that guy earned his fucking money, dude. <laughs> dude, I got to tell you, that's one of the few things that cartoons don't exaggerate. <laughs> like what a bull does to you. You literally go a fucking mile up in the air. It's fucking nuts, dude. dude that... My phone's going to die. I got to get, I got to get the charger. Hang on. No, no, second. no. We're going to wrap up. What? We're going to wrap up. Well, let's talk to the phone dies, man. 
I'm out here in Tampa, Paul. Then I'm going down to West Palm Beach, Paul. Going through Florida. All right. Nice. Nice. Well, um, can I, I show am... you what I got? Can I show you what I brought? Yeah. All right. Just hang on one second. Hang on a second. Ow! Fucking table. Dude, how funny would it be if Bill just came back with a giant gun with like a fucking laser? Uh, <laughs> did I show you guys? A, just a Batman mask. I'm in Florida. Did I show you guys what I got in Florida? Uh, Look what team. I got, Paul, from the great Tony V. Oh, it's a stick. It's a stick. It's a stick. Look at these little things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Called a firecracker. This is the David Ortiz one. Usually when they license a, a player's name, they're not good. These are fucking delicious. Look at oh, the door was a little breakfast sausage. Oh my god! I smoked the one you gave me. Little dog dick for you, Paul. Uh, Somebody hey, gave not... me this box here. Oh, dude! I could little little mini humidor. I can bring my little buddies out here. I can go for a stroll. Oh, Paul, oh, that... you don't know, you don't know how much I've changed. I actually am willing to give golf a chance, and I drink coffee now, dude. I told somebody, I go, dude, I'm, I can't wait to go. Dude, I cannot wait to golf with you and smoke a stick on the course. Um, that's going to be fucking incredible, man. You better get I... me soon because it's fading. The golf yeah, no, thing's we'll... fading. The coffee is, is strong with me. But the other shit is it's just sort of fading. Well, you're drinking coffee? Yeah, I never did. I, I just, doing that fucking movie, I would be exhausted. And somebody just finally goes, what do you want? I was like, I don't know, cappuccino. And oh, I my God. The- first cup and I'm oh my like, god dude we could share so many new things together <laughs> this is, dude this is like this is amazing i just brought our relationship closer paul we're dude, growing co- coffee golf and by the way i haven't had a stick in six weeks and i haven't had a drink old paulie's been dry monday will be a month not a swig that's amazing that's, yeah and that's it amazing. feels it feels good. Well, granted, I'm dealing with shit, but um, all right, man. Well, this has been such a fun, quick episode. This is this has been so fun. What, what else you guys want? You got grizzly bears. You got you got two people submarines. Okay, you got Batman Superman arguments. I mean, what what what, what else can we do for you? I can't um, believe how long I was able to argue that. I had to go all the way back to my childhood of uh, reading those things. Sort of. This is the other thing about Batman. <laughs> It's like fucking stop talking, you fucking Bruce Lee. You're nah, normal. Nah, nah, that was Christian Bale, and you love that one. We went, we went. No, but that was the one we still goofed on. I'll tell you why. I'm not wearing hockey yeah, pants. Because Paul, if I had was like this, and I'm still going, Paul, I'm Batman. You'd be like, No, you're Bill Burr. I can hear your voice. At least he understood he had to disguise his voice. Granted, uh, I'd recognize your dumb chin, even. I don't care what you had on. It's kind of a gimp mask. That's the direction I would have gone. <laughs> like Batman uh, dresses like that dude in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> what do you think, Bill? Should we, we're going to leave. We should leave him wanting more. We should leave him wanting more. And by the way, when I come out to L.A., oh, we're going to be out there together in the studio. Who knows? Fucking in wearing the our- studio. Um, guys, this Thursday... This Thursday, I will be in Buffalo, New York. I will be at Helium in Buffalo, New York. I have never been to Buffalo alone. I think I did a a college there with Bill many, many years ago. I will be at Helium one night only, Thursday the 26th. Please come out. It's going to be a great time. Get tickets to that. I'm going to Atlanta, Punchline, June 3rd and 4th. I got some more dates coming up. San Diego, the end of June to July. I got Michigan coming up. And I just got Chicago added. Um, At the end of July, go to paulverzi.com for all tickets. Please subscribe to the Anything Better um, podcast, Monday Morning Podcast, Verzi Effect Podcast, my YouTube channel, and uh, please rate and review the Anything Better podcast, okay? It makes the show go up. Get it on Spotify, iTunes, everywhere you get your podcast. Me and Bill love doing it. The Greek freak, what else can you say? I mean, he's 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 a producer extraordinaire. Look at the hair on that kid. Look at the hair on that Greek kid. He's crushing it. Uh... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> got enough hair for both the bus paul oh dude andrew why don't you shave some of that off and me and bill make a wig from that fucking thing will you uh you know he's just bragging with a man bun at some points when you're wearing a man bun, you're just bragging about the amount of hair you got 
I have never had a certain man, age. Though. At a certain <laughs> age. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. I would. I have never. If I did have hair to do a man bun, I would try it one day. Just do a podcast and have people trash me. Um, that's it, everybody. Till episode 63, we'll get those fun numbers. <laughs> we'll get those. <laughs> Paul just does not like. Paul's into the glitz. He likes the glamour. Paul, you like you like a quarterback. You like a running back, a wide receiver. Yeah, you know what number I liked? I always liked Art Monk 81. 81, Art Monk, and it was just a shiny. I, I know. I 81's like, you know, a good number. Russ Francis. 81's a good number, but we got to get through the Russ 60. Russ Francis, who got out of, out of football because he was folky. He liked aviation so much. Uh, Bill, I, I can't get over you like coffee and golf. I mean, me and you are going to be sitting in Italy with a fucking latte and a stick right outside the Coliseum. It's going to be fucking epic, dude. Can't wait. I mean, I'm in Florida. I feel like I could smoke at a coffee shop here. Hey, you could do blow at a coffee shop there. <laughs> fucking flip-flops. Um, all right, everybody. Enjoy. Enjoy the week. Come see us at shows. We'll be here next week. Take care. All right. Bye-bye.